right, cheers folks, this is Instant Screaming and I know you guys haven't got a lot of time, so today's episode is Zombies. We've got two and they're both on Netflix. First up is Rekill, followed by Wormwood. Now the main selling point, the main point of interest in Rekill is that it's not really a straight zombie movie, it's kind of a zombie movie mixed with a bit of a media satire, like in uh, the infomercial sections of Starship Troopers or Series 7, The Contenders, if any of you guys have ever seen that kind of lampooning the 24-hour news and the uh, reality TV show tropes. So as far as the zombie side goes, Rekill is a very, very straightforward plot, uh, very similar to something like Land of the Dead. Um, but what really does make it interesting is the infomercial sections and kind of the mythos of the world that they've surrounded it with. So the basic premise of Rekill is that it's several years after the zombie outbreak in America and uh, the population is fairly devastated, although they're more or less back to normal except all these little cottage industries have sprung up around zombies and zombieism. So over the course of the movie, which is presented as news segments following a rekill squad, which is basically uh, an elite group of tactical soldiers, very similar to a SWAT team, that go and, and deal with zombie-related crime. Trafficking zombies, zombie incursions. But they've got all these cool little advertisements and other shows that pop up so they have you know survivor stories where there'll be a brief little vignette into how the zombie apocalypse started for someone else or there'll be an advertisement encouraging people to have sex and repopulate or there'll be a little advertisement for you know zombie vaccines or other zombie related drugs uh, walled communities, zombie protection services. It's, very, it's all very, very tongue-in-cheek. It's, it's like, kind of like the stuff that showed up in the beginning of Zombie Strippers, except less obviously stupid. Like, they're trying to be realistic and not just making fun of all of this stuff. It's a very similar plot to Land of the Dead or any of those other movies with, like, weaponized zombies. It's, it's, it gets the job done by allowing the characters to move through scenes of carnage and, and basically have them all picked off and you kind of get your, your pathos. Uh, through interviews and postmortems, because this is something that happens so often on the show, they just have a, a standard operating procedure so everyone will get their exit interview. As far as the technical aspects go, it's okay. I think they save most of their makeup time and budget for the last half or the late of the last third of the movie, because before that the action scenes are a bit shaky, so you don't really get to ever see the zombie stuff that's going on. Uh, but then when they do start hitting the zombie effects and the gore effects later, when the, the shit really starts to hit the fan, um, it looks it looks really good. Um, everything that you'd really want from a zombie movie with all the dismemberment and all that. So what you've got with Rekill is basically a fairly stock standard zombie plot with a lot of interesting stuff going on around the edges with the framing and the news story. Uh, so if that sounds interesting, go check out Rekill, available on Netflix. Uh, but next up is kind of the opposite twist. We've got a Wormwood, I think it's like subtitled Road of the Dead or something like that. This is also available on Netflix. This is an Australian horror movie, and it's it's wacky. Yeah, so Wormwood has an interesting structure in that a lot of the movie is kind of little vignettes as the various subplots that get introduced slowly converge, as opposed to a, a single narrative uh, all the way through. And as the movie gets on, it just gets weirder and weirder. So the basic idea here with Wormwood is just after the beginning of the zombie apocalypse here in Australia, and some people have turned into zombies, some people have been unaffected, and for whatever reason, gasoline no longer works. Uh, so a lot of people are basically stuck where they are, slowly traveling to try to reunite with their loved ones. And when we eventually converge on a main plot, it is uh, this guy trying to find his uh, sister, I believe it was. The sister's been kidnapped by like rogue scientists or paramilitary types that uh, kind of uh, in the modern uh, zombie apocalypse story are the ones that know a little bit more than everybody else, so they're kind of trying to do some sort of crazy science bullshit. Yeah, so the main character that we're following is kind of hooking up with all these other groups of people who have been trying to defend themselves against other people who have turned into zombies over the course of, of uh, the, begin the beginning couple of days of the zombie apocalypse. So he gears up and he gets them all and they go and try to uh, to get his sister back from these people that have her. And I can't really give any more about what happens uh, without spoiling kind of really amusing reveals. Because the stuff that happens in this movie is so off the wall and so crazy. It's, 
it's a zombie movie through and through, but they've taken zombie movie and hung all sorts of weird random stuff on it. It's not a message zombie movie. Uh, Rekill could almost have been a message zombie movie. Uh, you know, all the Romero style zombie movies are message zombie movies. They have something to say. They're using the zombies for something. Wormwood didn't want to have a message. They just wanted to use the zombie story because zombies let you get away with weird and wacky shit. Because there's so much room in the mythology and they wanted to make a movie with a lot of wacky shit, I guess. And it is a blast to watch. So if that sounds interesting to you, check out Wormwood, also available on Netflix. And that's all I have for today's Instant Screaming covering Wormwood and Rekill. If you have any comments about those movies, please leave them below. If you have any uh, other movies that you think uh, you'd like to see on this show, also leave that below. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more. And if you want to support the show, you can check out our Patreon page here. Anyway, hopefully that'll help you figure out what you want to watch tonight. Cheers, folks, and stay tuned for some more Instant Screaming.